Hello everybody, welcome to Cult Camp. I am Extreme Elixir. This is Muda, this is Maru. And before we get started today, uh, we're going to try something out here. Uh, me and Amaru have been talking back and forth recently about possibly doing a uh, video uh, reacting to the audience's hot takes for gaming, movies, stuff like that. If you guys have anything, leave it in the comments below or just add us on Twitter. We'll look through them. We'll pick a handful of them out, feature them on the, on the next episode. With that being said, what do you guys want uh, to Whatever talk about? we choose about those hot takes, uh, just make sure that it's going to be something that Muda is going to defend wholeheartedly for some reason. Why the fuck do it? Why would you mean me defend? What are you talking? Gaslight was going to say, oh shit, Sonic Unleashed is good. Oh no, dude, I'm sure it's okay. And Muda is like, no, we're talking about the Sonic Listen, listen, motherfucker, we have got to fucking settle this down right now. (laughs) You give me one fucking reason why Unleashed is a bad game right fucking now. Okay, you want me to go for for the fucking uh, gameplay with the werewolf? Yes. Oh my fucking God. I know it's a classic, but it's still one of the best, it's still one of the fucking main issues with the game dude the repetitive music with the battle fast. fucking chip i don't care what the people say chip sucks i find that bitch really annoying oh yeah and like fucking charmy is any better too all the fucking charmy's Sonic awesome I, don't, I will not take charmy slander here dude charmy is awesome oh my fucking god oh my fuck i bet you fucking <laughs> love silver too didn't don't you eh, i Oh, I, sure. oh, fuck wow. off, dude. Wow. Dude, dude, Chip is a million times better than that. And by the way, the Werehawk stages, they're fucking good. Oh, yeah? Why are they good? What combos do you have good? other than just uh, fucking square, square, because, square? Because, no, because, like, there's, there's, first off, this shows you how much you don't care about good Sonic games because I actually got to, like, the highest level of combat, and I unlocked every what is, fucking combo. What is the highest level of combat? A level 99 S <laughs> rank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you already stopped playing the game, didn't you? <laughs> no, bitch. I'm, go- I'm, I'm all the way through. Sure. Of course. I am. What happened to... I'm going to tell you right now, both of us definitely believe you. Yeah, sure. Definitely believe that. Dude, you can hate it all you want, but like... You have not given a compelling reason for why fucking Sonic Unleashed is a bad I already Sonic told you, game. if half the game fucking sucks, what do you want me to say? If half the game... And, the, and that's the problem. Half the game... You haven't explained... All you want to do is just run fast. Is that all you want from a Sonic game? Uh, why do you think Generations was so good? Because it was just the day stages. There you go. Just fucking... Just literally hates, hates good games. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. All I hear here is... Imaru is discriminating against Knights. Well, yeah, because you play, you got shittier gameplay. What, what because it's basic? not running fast. So it's Sonic still, it's is slow just like, ass, no. boring ass God of War wannabe, dude. That's it. And yet it's better than God of War. What? <laughs> okay, wow. you see, that's the ringer. That's where you know you're fucking. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> There's that's whoa, that's whoa, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Half of Sonic Unleash is better okay. than God of War. Which one? One, two, or three? The originals, okay. Or the okay, new first ones? off, first off, which franchise has more fucking power, God of War or Sonic? I don't, I don't fucking know. There you go, Sonic. People play that shit more. What oh, has man. more porn on the internet? What is more degeneracy? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck can uh, I make yeah. more money talking about on the internet? <laughs> I don't know, man. Of... Why don't you Google Krat- Kratos inflation, dude? I wonder what you're gonna get. Yeah, you know, oh, funny. Fuck. Like actually, every fan base has shit like that, man. Just because a bunch of YouTubers in the mid 2010s decided to shit on Sonic. No, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Krat- yeah, Kratos, you know. Kratos inflation. I literally am googling that right now. <laughs> yeah, let me let yeah, me see that shit. I can't find it. I literally <laughs> can't Bullshit. find Kratos let me, inflation porn. Let me. No, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna have my now <laughs> I, time like with Kratos inflation. I literally, it literally doesn't shit. exist. Is the funniest thing about it. <laughs> it really does, bro. Okay, you're the. This is the only fan base right, with babysitting cream in it. I ain't seen no fucking babysitting Atreus. I ain't seen none <laughs> of that shit. Oh yeah, it's a fucking new character. They, of course, they're gonna fucking do that. Listen, dude. You don't, you don't want me to go to Rule 34 and, and look at something. <coughs> Wait, what are you saying about a, a Treyu's? Okay, to be totally fair, I don't think that's to be legal. Totally fair, I can't find any inflation. I don't think you're even looking. I, I did. I typed it in word for word. Even I even went. To All right. So what is what is the topic it? beyond like obviously me having <laughs> to defend Peak? 
Oh, inflation? <laughs> uh, probably, yeah, that too, but sure. <laughs> oh, what about talking about... Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, apparently we're talking about uh, our favorite movies. And for me, that has a lot of meanings. Or if I'm going for like a pure entertainment value type of thing, like purely just entertaining, I don't give a fuck about the story. For me, it's a toss-up between John Wick and uh, Fast and the Furious. For just pure well, when it's entertainment. When you talk about John Wick, is that it's such a simple premise, but it's executed so perfectly with the, such a good choreography and just good acting for Keanu Reeves, which includes basically just him saying nothing, and that's the best you can get for Keanu Reeves. I appreciate I that. I love Keanu Reeves, but yeah, I mean... He, he plays his role, he does his part, and they don't ask him to do more than That's that. That's a movie that Muda uh, showed me, actually. I remember, hey, man, you gotta watch John Wick. That was like 2016, 2015. You gotta watch John Wick. You gotta watch John Wick. I'm like, well, man, okay, I watched sure. it before everyone started jerking it off, dude. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I 100%. Movie. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one, yeah. Low-key, low low-key, Muda introduced both of us to John Wick before it became, like... Bro, everyone jerks that movie off, and I was like, bro, jerk. this is the only, like, good movie of the year. He, like, literally is just... It's just like, I started watching the movie, I'm like, oh, it's simple, you know? He, they kill his dog, they shoot, they fuck him up, and now he's, like, going out to kill him. Like, it's, it's all I wanted out of a fucking movie. Simple. Like, what the hell? And just because of that, I think the first one is still my favorite out of the four. Yeah, I kind of don't like it when they expand so. on this universe, and it's like, all right, let's yeah. chill out with the. Fucking it was Echo cool. Shit. It was. I, I feel like it. Was, I feel it was worth expanding, but I don't know. Maybe they went a little too overboard because you got the boar, you got this other like Russian underground with the criminals, you got this weird set of assassins, you got the other continentals. I mean, it definitely. It's, like, it's a little too much. The biggest, the biggest issue I have with when they uh, start expanding mm -hmm. on this world is the fact that it starts raising questions of like does does everybody in the world just know about this and accept it or is it something where because like in in the final movie uh there's a scene in a uh nightclub where a dude literally dies right next to the, this girl she screams for a second a that goes cow? right back to dancing <laughs> Well, one of those now, when I've been everyone to a nightclub, is... 90, every single person in a nightclub is fucking high out of their minds. So if somebody dies True. next to you, okay. they do not care. <laughs> I believe it. Well, I'm just saying, like, there's gunshots going off in the middle of this room. And that doesn't even... I mean, there's lots of instances of this where it's just like... It seems like it's an accepted part of society in this universe. And they're, the, the assassins are being sneaky for... Maybe they hide no it very well. I don't know, man. I, f I feel like I feel like it would be funny if like people separately just don't know about the assassins, just like normal people don't know about the wizarding world. I want to feel like they're both in the same universe. Like you have the don't, wizards don't, and the assassins. Don't bring in fucking. Don't bring in like the Harry muggles. The muggles. The assassin sucks, muggles. Dude. dude, it's great. It's perfect. It's John yeah, Wick, cool. Harry Potter. Bro, what's good about Harry Potter? Okay, I watched that movie. It's so okay. Fucking shut boring, the fuck dude. up. It's so it isn't. fucking. It's not, it isn't. It's I feel like, like the dude, world. The only the only thing I remember out of that is like the fucking Maserati scene when like fucking Harry Potter's like ripping through London in like the last movie. I mean, the only thing you would remember Bro, more would be fuck? my mortal. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Honestly, I remember the Percy Benz more. I remember the fucking Forrest more. I remember fucking Malfoy. Draco, Ma Drake, Ma I remember him, dude. I remember. Oh, I don't know what what was his name? More. Draco. Yeah, Dr Darko, Darko, Darko. Malfoy, <laughs> Draco. Fucking Draco. You've Vampire also got Potter. Hargrid. You've got Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Like all those characters, bro. Of course, it's so much better. Well, to be fair. To be fair, Dumbledore goes by like four different names. Over it's so yes. funny, and that's uh, why that my whole immortal. fucking like my immortal shit is so much. Dude, if they if if I looked in the universe where instead of Harry Potter getting movie releases in my immortal, that shit would be the universe <laughs> I would live in. Hundred percent. It's here's the thing. I feel I feel like you only watch like the first probably. One I only or watched two the first movie. Movies and I and I fucking okay. And well, I that's fucking hate Harry Potter. It's I a, hate it's it. a, the first movie. 
is such a vastly different movie. To yeah, the but, rest but you, of the yeah, but you know what? After that's the thing that I go Harry different Potter's with. Harry gross. How how is it gross? He's just, Why is he's it gross? So, Dude, he's so fucking annoying. He's just so fucking British. He's my problem with him. He's so holy fucking... shit. Is that and it? Like, no, because it's all okay. So like, okay, this kid is like, he's just this fucking beta pussy bitch getting bullied by like his fucking retarded uncle. All right, and like this Melvin of a cousin for like fucking months, for well, years. Well, he doesn't know any like, better. Yeah, but I mean, like, dude, at least fucking knock a bitch out, you know? Like, it's like the whole, are you winning, dad? Like, bro, you're big enough. Fucking take your uncle on, dude. What a he's pussy. Not, he's standing the first movie. What are you talking about? What oh the fuck is he going to do not only against fucking... fucking well, so he can cast Petronium fuck you in the asses, but not... Well, he didn't know that yet. yet. He didn't know Whatever, that yet at the start of the Point, movie. Okay, if you had a Melvin for a cousin, he fucking stood there like a bitch and took it. So anyways... Then they end up on, like, the, the stupid lighthouse aisle place. Like, how the fuck do you get a house like that? How the fuck do you manage... What realty company do you go to okay. buy that bitch in the first place? Technically, they didn't buy it, though. Whatever, they okay, they airbnb be the biggest shithole in London. How so, yes. fucking... <laughs> and 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 they did they did that to get away from all the owls that were trying to get Harry. To Brother, come that that's another sign. They're magic fucking owls, you retards. They can come anywhere. That's <laughs> yeah, the but, whole point of a magic yeah, but, owl. Yeah, but they don't know. They're stupid. They're, that's the Dursleys. Dude. They're just fucking dumbasses. They're, 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 and, and that's the dumb part. They know they have family that are like fucking wizards and shit. They're kind of more connected. <laughs> so, anyways, Hargrid shows up to the fucking house. This big sledge looking bastard. Carl Urban, like three Carl, like fucking Urbans in one, okay? And then he takes him on, on a train between like station 32 and 33. That you know, That is the biggest test of faith right there. Kid, run into the fucking brick wall. Yeah. Run into the brick wall. That shit is so cool. Bro, like, okay, sure, and it's and, cool. And you know what you run it? And you know, you know what the you know what the cool part about it is? If that kid has any ounce of doubt that that wall isn't gonna let him through, he will slam his ass straight into yeah. it. But like, so you go in, and and you take the fucking, you take the train to to, to Hogs Hog, Hogwarts, whatever legacy, uh, and then and then and then and then and then they give you this fucking amazing meal and shit, and you gotta like be segregated into four houses. So it's like the fucking yeah. and like you always want to get into like the Slytherin house because like that's a cool one. Like dude, uh, that's imagine the dumbass one. Yeah, sure. What are you? Bro, what are you that's talking? A that's a fucking one. based one, dude. What do you yeah. want to go into Hufflepuff? You want to sound like a diabetic retard? Uh, no, I'm actually a fucking nerd and I'm a Ravenclaw. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. So you go there. Imagine, oh dude, I'm like a I'm like a wizard and shit. You go there, they put you in Guild Hufflepuff. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. Muta gets a little too spicy for the cult of YouTube. Please do not look at us, oh great ones. Holy shit, all of that build up for that? Mm, not happening, brother. All right, oh, no, and then man. like, and then like his only friend is like the poorest kid in the world. Like, how are you a wizard family and that abject poor? Like, dude, he's poorer than fucking Kenny and shit. Well, to be honest, if you analyze the the wizarding world, there are some like really sus stuff, like the the whole thing with the goblins, I think it is, or the elves. Oh, the fucking placeholder the, for the Jews. What are are you trying? Are you trying to t are you trying to tell me that they're uh, straight up? Bro, they live in straight slavery. Up slaves. They, they're straight up what slaves. The they don't. What do you mean they, they don't? don't? They they straight up slaves. No, they're not. They own they own the bank. The goblins. Well, the own elves. That I'm bank. talking about. It yeah, the they own the bank, huh? The goblins. Yeah, the goblins yeah, the with short creatures. The, the short creatures with long oh. noses. Yeah, the, the, yeah. that strike you as weird. Oh, yeah. You're talking. You're talking <laughs> about. You're talking about the how. Okay, the house elves. Yes, they're yeah. obviously. Yeah, Dobby. Dobby is not a fucking slave. Yeah. Well, I mean, technically, eventually. Yeah, the goblins, like... Kyle. The goblins. You know, the 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 short, long nosed bank owners. Yeah. Of Hogwarts, yeah. Yes, they own yeah, there's the a they lot. There's a lot of sus stuff with that Wizarding World. And uh, Bro, yes. I remember when I remember when the whole like okay. transphobia stuff was coming out with Hogwarts Legacy. I was like, because I started looking into it. I'm like, oh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. She might be a psycho bitch here, but we got to talk about the Goblin Jewish stuff going. Yeah, yeah, on. Yeah. Well, I can say if you analyze I mean, the world, yeah, there's a lot of shit that is like, mm, man, what's going on here? It's here. Here's the thing. Here's what I will say. 
I don't agree with any of what J.K. Rowling has done since anything. It's very clear that she is a transphobic person. It is very clear. It's very that clear she that she writes like person. shit too. Be... Hey, dude, it's still better than Twilight. What fucking metric is that? <laughs> like, of course, Harry Potter is better than it's, Twilight. It's... Muta is Team Edward. He loves himself some sparkly bois. <laughs> Getting stabbed in a McDonald's <laughs> parking lot is better than Twilight. Ah, uh, so you're Getting... watching Drive. <laughs> Getting dysentery is better than Twilight, so yeah, there's a lot of things better than that, but sure. I'm just saying, like, that, here's the thing. There are, and I feel like I feel like everything that she put into mm -hmm. this world, even though it's being completely dissected nowadays, I genuinely do feel like uh, she, even though it's meant for younger people, and as we grew up, we grew up with the books and the characters get older and all that stuff. It was supposed to start conversations about stuff. And unfortunately, I feel like she doesn't write it very well nope. in the books. And it comes across very poorly. Well, Muda, maybe, That's the maybe you get another part. chance with a new show coming out. There's a new Harry Potter show coming out soon-ish. I don't remember. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Wait, a TV show? Yeah, a TV show, dude. Uh, yeah, there is. Tell me I that. Forgot about that. But is it going to be good? Is the thing? I don't know. I, I watched I'm a new Avatar live action, and it's the best live action adaptation of that. No, I'm Stop it. That. <laughs> I lo Dude, I Stop love it. Netflix so much. I love because it's it makes my Twitter timeline so fucking <laughs> awesome every now, time. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, to be honest. Uh, the I saw the, the like the first trailers. They look great. Everything looks so, uh, like. On point with the show, everything looks yeah. just like in the show. It was great. It looks cool, but then slowly they they began to like give details like, oh man, Sokka will not will not be sexist. Oh shit, Sokka will not chase the Avatar. Yep. And those little details like started to make me go like, mm, I don't know. And then not, then you remember, I remember when uh, the show was in production like two three years ago when they announced that the creators left the project for creative differences, and then you start putting pieces yep. together with that. So I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Apparently well, it's good, a... but I don't know. I'm not in a hurry to watch it. And, I, and no, Avatar is my favorite dude. animated dude, series. See, that just doesn't excite me. Here's, I want here's it to a... be total abject trash. <laughs> here's the thing. This is what upsets me about it is that the Sokka storyline is very integral to the story yeah. of Avatar. Because... If he doesn't get uh, if he doesn't get uh, put in his place by the key, that's literally Warriors, on the fifth episode of season one. It's like literally right at the start. Like if he doesn't get put in his place, there's a lot. Of, there's a quite a few events that happen later on that mm -hmm. make no sense. On top of that, uh, they they said they want uh, another change that they made is that they don't want Aang to be goofy and playful and. They want him to be more uh, serious. They want him to be, want to be a kid. of a hero. Exactly. And I'm like, no, that's his entire okay, I story. I haven't seen, his entire I haven't story. seen the show, but you remember the first thing Ang says when he wakes up from the iceberg? No. You want to go penguin sliding? That's literally the first thing. He wants to go yes. fuck around. Yes. <laughs> and that's the thing. That is his story. He starts off as a kid who is evading responsibility. And eventually grows into being the exactly. avatar. That's it. That, that the whole journey. <laughs> but I don't know. I haven't it's, seen the show yet. Maybe maybe tackles it in a different way. But I don't know. I I haven't watched it yet, so I I cannot say I it's good it. or bad. I yeah. I haven't heard anything good mm. story wise. I haven't heard anything good story wise, and it's really it it, it disappoints me because I was really hoping. I don't think I was hoping to get the exact same story, but I was hoping the main beats would be mm -hmm. Well, now that we're seeing as we're on the topic of uh, animated stuff, yesterday, notable individual mm -hmm. died, Akira Toriyama. Insane. And I'm kind of curious, Muda, you don't 
never watched anything Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I know the Piccolo Dragon driving Super. test. <laughs> of course he does. That's it. That's all That's I know. That's the only thing he knows. That's the only thing. But man. we both... But for you, Akira Toriyama was in your life in a different way through... Chrono Trigger, Dragon Chrono Trigger, Trigger Quest. and uh, exactly. Dragon Quest. See, it touched and in any I other think, ways. I, I think... Akira Toriyama is an interesting case. Because despite the fact that Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball series is his, by far his most famous work, his contributions to not only uh, animation and even the uh, TV sphere, but in the video game sphere, it's second to none, really. Well, yeah, he was part of the dream team that worked on uh, Chrono Trigger. We we had the people for Final Fantasy. Had Nobuo Uematsu in the music. Um, Dragon Quest, which I I think it was Dragon Quest and his illustrations that kind of inspired Final Fantasy as well. Without Toriyama, there would be no Final Fantasy, straight up. And uh, there's this new game coming yeah. out uh, that's gonna be one of his last projects. That was Sandland. That's coming out. I don't. Yeah, Sandland, that, that looks yeah. pretty cool too. So something outside of Dragon game. Ball. Yeah, yeah. It looks um, looks pretty good. Made uh, The art is entirely made it, by Toriyama. Everything. It looks really interesting. Yep. It's it's very Toriyama in, in terms of art. Yeah. We don't know anything about storyline, but it's very Toriyama in terms and of And in talking about movies of that, I think of the Dragon Ball movies that I like the most, I'll have to say my favorite one would be the Broly movie from 2018. Dragon Ball Super Broly. The bro the Broly remake was. I, was, I wouldn't call it a remake. I would call it like just a reboot, reimagining maybe. Yeah, uh, that's. I feel like that's just peak Dragon Ball when it comes to animation and story. Because I always was a uh, a fan of Broly, but I never kind of liked that the Saiyans were like evil in a point in a way. I always wanted Broly to be a good guy. Well, yeah, they were. They were. They were all. They were a lot like uh, in uh, in yeah, yeah, exactly. The uh, Homelanders race or not Homelander? <laughs> Omni Man. <laughs> the other the Homelander. Omni Man's race is very Omni much. Man fella. Oh, you don't want to go there, Moody. <laughs> well, go there. Of... Bro, hold on a minute. I haven't watched the fucking second of Invincible, but even I know talking slander against the God Demand John Homelander. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You wrong. don't know. You don't fucking know. <laughs> The, the main thing is that I, Homelander I doesn't fucking have any, like, experience fighting because he's stronger than anyone else, so he doesn't fucking care. Now, when someone that knows how to fight and has the power confronts him, he gets his ass beat. And that's Wait, Omni-Man. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let's not forget that Homelander took on Soldier Boy and fucking souped up fucking uh, Billy Butcher. Carl got out Billy of that Butcher, who knows how uh, to fight. Escaped. He fucking just squealed like a baby and flew away because he knew he was gonna lose. Bro, they got fucked up. What do you mean? They beat his ass. All three of them. What? Naked Huey fucked well, him up. You just, I don't just know. think about it like this: three dudes against one god. Well, yeah, and uh, they almost win. Be, <laughs> because the be god fair. escaped. Be fair if you think about well, it. Whose like, fault is okay, it that they so when, fly? when he gets <laughs> pissed off, when he gets pissed off and uh, he basically knocks down Maeve, and I believe it's because uh, the kid gets knocked over or something. I don't remember mm -hmm. exactly how that plays remember. out. But if I remember right, he really starts kicking their ass. And to be fair, he also kicks uh, uh, Butcher and uh, Soldier Boy's ass uh, during the fight um, at the uh, Hero Gasm. At which point he overpowers all three of them. Yeah, I he literally gets out of like flies he away. literally gets out of all of this bullshit and just fucking I don't know three dudes against one, and he was holding his own pretty well. And all I'm gonna say, well. To be fair, though, he, uh, Omni-Man fucking managed to solo the entire quote-unquote Justice League. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he almost died doing it, but 
not just three oh, random dudes, the defenders of the globe, dude, the most powerful heroes that defend the world. He got he wiped all of them. But to be honest, I remember wow. there's a lot of people theorizing that had the the Guardians had a plan, maybe they could have come on the top. Because they were they were yeah. basically ambushed. I mean they almost yeah. killed them. If, they did they if they were like ready, them. maybe they could have won. Who knows? Had had they known that that was gonna happen, yeah. Who knows? Exactly. I feel like that would have been. There, there's a lot of videos talking about that theory. I feel maybe they could have won. I don't know. So, first mm -hmm. off, uh, speaking of Homelander, we're about to get the next season of uh, uh, the boys to drop uh, pretty soon here, and. It seems like there's a very specific direction this is going in. What's that? Mm -hmm. It seems... This is my inflection. And uh, I... To be totally fair, I've all I've watched the entirety of Gen V. Oh, I still gotta watch that. I don't know if you guys have still watched that yet. I, I know Amaro has it. Episodes. But, um... They're... they're there's a lot of setup that happens in Gen V that's definitely going to carry over into the new season. But, um, it seems to me like, uh, they're grooming for, uh, Homelander's kid, in my opinion, to be the one to eventually kill him. I theorize that, like, at least in season three, at the start of season three, because I feel like that's what's going to happen in the end. So what are they gonna do? Kill the fucking kid? No, no, they're gonna. The kid's gonna kill Homelander. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be it. I feel. I I I, 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 I don't know. I think they might stick to the comic a little bit. I think Black Noir is gonna still kill him. Cause so the way that I've read in the comics, and by the way, the comics for the boys are absolute fucking abject dog shit. Oh, they're phenomenal. Oh, they're phenomenal? <laughs> what? No. They are not. Oh, phenomenal dog shit. I no see man, not. I see we completely have a disagreement. No man, uh, we absolutely. I feel do. like the comics are fucking trash. I feel like the comics are shit. Yeah, yeah, I agree, straight up. <laughs> it's basically there's only, there's only one part about the comics that are trash, and that it's game. basically the the cre I know that the creator fucking hates superheroes, so he basically make an entire series. Well, he self inter self insert of. Uh, Butcher just everything. goes around beating the shit out of fucking everyone. <laughs> That's basically it. And they say fucking shit and, and slurs all, all around. It's not yeah. good. <laughs> it's not good. The yeah. show My, like did so much yeah. better work. Like, the show is just such a... well. Like, okay. I mean, the show is Butcher obvious. and the it's, Butcher and the comics phenomenal. is like such an insufferable fucking British douchebag. Like, at least, in the, at least in the show, it's like... At least with the last season towards the end of it, like there was really a lot of depth built up between like Lenny and like him replacing Lenny in his head with like Huey and shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's like, I, I always hate a character as super duper fucking one dimensional. And like, I think the show does a really good job of turning this abject, complete asshole into at least, I wouldn't even say Butcher's likable. He's not likable. It's just, you can kind of no. understand him. Have the he's, show. He's a have lot the like, show is butcher. He's a lot like a fucking yeah, his friends. Yeah. Have, have the show is butcher trying to convince people to do something that end up fucking them over. Like the, yeah. <laughs> the guy always rolls charisma, always wins, and then people just fuck up. <laughs> yeah, and it's like you know comparing it to like I don't know. I I, I honestly think Homelander is a more you can sympathize with him more than you can sympathize with fucking butcher. Butcher's like the ultimate example of like just use people. And that's it. Like, the I, most manipulative asshole you can I think it's, on. like, evil, horrible people versus good, horrible people. Like, they're, they're both awful. The both teams are awful. <laughs> I think, yeah. I mean, at least I know At least I know where I stand with I them. think every... It's funny because if you kind of think about it, Homelander is, like, an evil piece of shit that yeah. uses people. Butcher is basically just Homelander in a way, too. Yeah. But, like, everyone surrounding them, they're not... Evil people, like okay, if, if you kind of think about it, like A Train's oh. a decent guy, I think that whole scene during Hero Gas when know. he's yeah. like, 
I don't know, but like he had a fucking development. He's like, I'm sorry, I learned, I fucked up. Okay, that's what you want. I don't know. Hear. Well, I think my favorite part of the show was when Ashley chewed the fuck out of him when he tried to like work. Oh, like, yeah. saying, oh man, now I have to. Co- you trying to do this fucking community bullshit when I have to cover your two murders? Like that was my favorite part because the guy yeah. was literally just fucking spewing shit at that point. <laughs> Ashley, I think was no, but like even with those characters, like you kind of feel like there's some. It's going to take a while for somebody to, like, truly... Like, I feel like he comes to terms mm-hmm. with some of the shittiness that he has. Maybe he's trying to learn. Same with, like, Ashley. Same with everyone else out there. And even yeah. for, like, the boy side, it's like, you know, M.M., Huey, Frenchie. Like, they're all good people. It's just their bosses. The guy yeah. that kind of is the spirit. The leader, just, yeah. The leader is, like, a crazy shit. motherfucker. That's yeah. On both ends. Yeah. And the good and the bad. They're both led by complete psychopaths. I think what I think what they'll probably end up doing is probably have like Homelander killed by like Butcher, and then Butcher just becomes the big bad guy, like in the comics. See, I could definitely then killed see by that Huey. Hmm. I don't think I. Th- I think what'll I happen def- is he will probably end up killing Huey, and that'll be like the fucking oh shit. That'll be the because you'll be like oh my god, he's actually like. Because that's like the only thing that kind of humanizes him. If you kill him, it's like oh well, fuck, he's gonna go crazy. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oof. Yep. I agree. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I think I think Homelander, like States. Homelander's gonna end up like fucking being president of the United States somehow. I or, feel like, like that. Being that far. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing because apparently it's gonna for the the advertisement that I've been seeing. It's a lot of like election yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like, make America of, super again exactly. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff like that. Yep. So I don't know, man. But kind like that's how that's that's it's how kinda... you get him into like the the White House. That's where like the comics get into. It's like at some point he's gonna get into like you know the leadership of the U.S. Mm. and then somebody's gonna have to turn into him. I'm interested to see like who the fuck Black Noir is because last I checked he died. He got in fucking the destroyed. Yeah. Unless he like regenerates Here's the or thing. something, I don't know. He has a regenerative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, factor. but does it work if your heart's been that removed? Being... <laughs> that being said. And I might be wrong on this. I'm pretty sure in the comics we find out that uh, Black Noir actually has two hearts. I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at some to- at some point we find that out, and that's what allows him to come back. Well, all I know about Black Noir is he's literally just a Homelander clone, which is not how they fucking did it in the show. Yeah, no, and thank God because that. That's such a stupid right. pl- plot twist. I don't know. What... I mean, like, my, my kind of... Th- what I don't understand about that whole universe is, like... Actually, I think it's great to kind of fucking talk about the boys because I really like that universe's building. Mm-hmm. So, Vought International. Like, okay, so you build these crazy soups. You, you're telling me they had no anti-soup fucking, like, safeguard? Like, against some of the craziest no. dudes? So that's the fun, that's kind of the fun thing about Gen V is they actually delve mm-hmm. into that side of it. It turns out they never had that safeguard in place up until they start realizing like, oh fuck, Homelander could be a real issue. So they start, uh, I don't want to spoil too much of it. They essentially Oh, start you don't want to spoil too much of it as we pretty much just fucking spoiled pretty <laughs> much the biggest piece of the boys. <laughs> sure. Yeah, the one I, I spoil about the one that I didn't watch. <laughs> but essentially, what's what happens is that they start trying to research ways to uh, basically commit, essentially commit a mass extinction event through the soup community by way of biological warfare. They research a virus that is so potent it literally causes like necrosis and all this stuff, and it's able to jump from soup to soup. Oh. And that's their way of So, like, fox soups die for soups, soups, I guess. It's oh, basically cool. fox die. Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. That's, that's kind of what Beautiful. it is, actually. And that's that's apparently their, like... I'm wondering, like, wouldn't it have just been easier to put, like, fucking thermite or something into their brains? And just, like, hit the button? Like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, like, something, like... But yeah, so this. essentially... So, essentially, this, uh... This virus... Uh, and I think this is going to be a very focal point of the next season of The Boys because uh, it turns out very few people know mm-hmm. about this. And 
even uh, that uh, that lady who's supposed to become the president of the U.S. Mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, Newman. Like, Newman. Who's running for it. Yeah. She knows nothing about it until the events of, like, the last two episodes of Gen V. And at the very end, you see her, you hear her uh, tell them, I want all your samples. And it's, what it what it's essentially setting up is it sounds like she's about to go biological against the Superman. Mm, and she's working against him, like, in the dark? Yeah, that's what it mm. seems like. Like, she wants, she wants to be the only one. It's such a, it's, it, it it's like, like, it's kind of a weird, like, super wild universe. Like, like, how do you, the whole soup stuff, it's like, so you got the compound V as a child and everything, but it's pretty much out there in the wild, right? Like, yeah. people can, like, just engineer, like, soup terrorists. Like, that's been a huge plot point of the fucking show in general. Yeah, that's what, that's well, what happened absolutely. with Kimiko, right? She, she wasn't she, like... Yeah. They grab some uh, compound B out of nowhere and just injected people illegally so they can create those enemies yeah. for the people to fight. Well, that they didn't. Bot was in. Bot was directly oh, yeah. involved in they that. Were they were under the table. Under the table, they essentially created what they call soup terrorists to essentially try and propagate a threat to try and sell more defense mm-hmm. contracts. Trying to get the soups into the military and everything. I mean. That, that, and that's the funny. That's the funny thing about this universe. Everything always just comes back around to money. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah, it's that's a all company. Vought does. It's, it's like, a company. You know, Vought, Vought, like it's funny because you watch the whole show. Yeah. It's like Vought does so much shit. They like do the like. It's funny because like they also hosted like the gun show in one, and then they hosted like the pride parade. So it doesn't matter. Like they're just a yep. corporate evil fucking scumbag company. <laughs> Absolutely, I love about that shit because it's it's how it is. <laughs> it's just how it is. And you know that's a, that's actually something I do love about the show is that is just how shameless it is and the fact that it's like it, it it's not afraid to piss off both sides of the aisle. It might lean more towards one side, but it's not afraid to piss off both sides and put and just put stuff out there. I and I love that about it. I love the fact that it's just like here's a gun here's a gun uh, show episode. Here's an LGBTQ episode. Hey, by the way, here's a Black Lives Matter rally. Yeah. Oh, but same. I mean, like, you know, at the end of the day, the whole show is just about, you know, these fucking super crazy nut jobs. Um, yep. And, you know, I mean, it's just these super crazy nut jobs with, like, all these crazy fucking flaws that are eventually going to end up caving on them. I love how we, we just walked I mean, around to, like, talk about favorite movies to, like, talk about favorite shows because... I feel like if we're gonna talk about shows, then I I just have to mention Severance. Yeah, I mean that's the shit I've been shows. on. That that's the type of shit I've been on. <laughs> and here's the thing: a lot of people, a lot of people watching this uh, now and in the future probably don't know what it, Severance is because I feel like it's a really? relatively they unknown don't know the table. biggest show on Apple TV Plus. That's the one thing. Of the biggest I tech think companies in the in the world. That, yeah, that but I, the thing is that I I don't have you. I don't know who you hand out with, but I, had, I haven't heard anyone talk about it until I watched a video by uh, yeah, Friendly I Space Ninja. Either. He made a top ten of shows 2022. And number one was Severance, and I was like, "What the fuck is Severance?" And the guy in the same video said, "You don't know what that is because Apple TV Plus it's horrible at marketing. They don't know fucking how to show anything." <laughs> But it's one of the best be show fair. I've seen in a long, long time. To be fair, that is the only show I have ever watched on Apple TV. Yeah, no idea. The only one. And I don't hear anybody mm-hmm. else going to the fucking going on the internet being like, Oh my god, dude! That guy from that guy from Parks and Rec. Oh yeah, and that, that's the thing. We're like, okay, first of all, like a little um, summary on Severance. Severance is a show about uh, Mark, who is a dude who is going through uh, the death of his wife. It's a guy who has problems with drinking, and to carry on with that, like try to get over it, he takes a job at this company called Lumen that works on something. But the thing is that that work they work in the company manages to do something that separates your consciousness consciousness from your work from the ones where you're uh, outside life so there's a version of you that exists during work hours that has no idea what happens outside and then you outside have no idea what happens during the work hours and it's the the shape between these two characters 
played by the same actor. Like the main character is played by uh, what was the what was the name of the the Parks Adam and Rec guy? Adam Scott. Yeah, but sorry, <laughs> my name's Scott. Yep. The guy, I think that's the best thing I've ever seen him in. He like absolutely nails oh, absolutely. it. He sounds so destroyed throughout the entire show, and it's great because it's two performances. He plays Mark outside, the guy who's grieving for his wife, and Mark in the inside, the guy who's trying to work, and and, and the auras are completely. And he's trying to keep the everything auras are in completely line. different. When the guy goes out, you see Mark with like different ways to move in, different facial expressions and everything. Mark from inside of the work, it's completely different as well. Trying to keep this up attitude and to be a little bit more more peppy, more like upbeat. And the whole show, it's about the just the morality of it, like trying to separate. Would you do that? Would you separate your life in work for the one outside? What do you think that does to the people inside? Because you're basically creating another consciousness for you. What do you think the other you is going to think about it? So it's something that's really unique about that show. And it's something that it's, I think is one of the coolest shows for that. And it's heart-wrenching and it has one of the best fucking finales I've seen in a while. Cannot wait for season two, damn it. Yeah. That, no, I... I, I agree though. I think Apple TV Plus is one of the worst marketed things from one of the biggest companies. If that shit was on Netflix, everyone would know about it. Straight yeah, hundred percent. I don't want to I say agree. much about it on like with the boys because again, it's Apple TV TV Plus. No one saw that, so I don't want to. Uh, I know there's yeah. a lot of people that probably don't know what the show is, so I don't want to talk much about plot points specifically. I just give you the rundown, but. You gotta watch it. Honestly, the fact that it even got greenlit for a season two was a little surprising to me because I I genuinely don't think that many people saw it. It has to. But the thing is that he also has an all-star cast, dude. He has fucking uh, John Torturo from The Big Lebowski. <laughs> That's how I think it. Uh, Patricia Arquette <laughs> from uh, Dream Warriors, if you remember that shit. Uh, no, everyone. Everyone oh. just bring their end game. I think the guy who plays... Um, Dylan, you know the, the other the the big guy. I think he's also gonna be in the. Chubby I think guy, he's gonna yeah. be on the Fallout series. I think I saw him in the. I think I oh, saw him in okay. the trailer. Have you guys seen the trailer for that? No. Uh, the Fallout no, series. No, I, oh, I have not. I can't imagine it's gonna be great. I mean, visually it looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. But I don't. Yeah, that's what we said about Halo until. Oh yeah. Oh, Muda that. loves Halo, dude. You love that dude, show. I think it's the greatest fucking TV show in the world, dude. I yeah, love dude. Master Chief's asshole. <laughs> I love sex scenes <laughs> with fucking. That's the. I remember that was the first thing you showed. Like, man, they got Master Chief ass in the show. Bro, I haven't seen Master Chief's like face in the game at all, but I see his asshole on Paramount Plus, dude, any fucking day of the week. Isn't he like without the helmet all the time now? Like I remember seeing much, things in season yeah. two. Yeah, pretty much. Promotional right. material. Like, the guy without the helmet is like you... what? Here's what pisses me off. I'm not a I'm not a Halo guy. I don't I don't really care for Halo. How do you fuck up something so simple? A character who got famous on the fact that he never showed his face and never fucking spoke. Well, he did um, speak. He should. <laughs> Well, fucking regardless, how do you how do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up of all things? Like that is just egregious to me, that they managed to just one of the most iconic characters of all time. Yeah, you know we're really thinking of going this direction with them. Yeah, get the helmet off all the time. Oh. Yeah, I guess. And, and they show his ass. Okay, that's a good but, thing. But, but like, but that's but that's like, I mean, you know, it's, it's Halo in general, bro. I mean, that's a plus. Is that does I mean, that, that happen like in the, the games? It's not like the fucking current stories in the video games or anything to fucking write home about. <laughs> you might as well show a dude to asshole. Does that happen in the game? Do you see Chief's ass in the game? Um, not to my knowledge, no. Oh, you know what? Well. <laughs> you know what would have been cool, actually, a rich uh, adaptation. How many times are you going to fucking see that depressing fucking story again? You dude, I love happens. Reach. It's, I, I think it's the best story that they had. No, nah, dude, the best story is fucking Halo 2. Because I mean, Halo 2 has got the best story in the fucking world, okay? And you, mm -hmm. know how, you know the best way to describe it? Remember the 4chan meme where it's like dudes are talking about their favorite like franchise? He's like, I love Halo. 
he kills aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. That's all you need to know about Halo. <laughs> this dude jumps onto fucking capital class covenant ships with two fucking guns in his hand. We might as well have some fucking cigar, full fucking erect boner, and ass fucks every covenant. And then he's like, shit, how the fuck do I get off the planet? Oh, I got it. I'm going to fucking latch myself onto a fucking meteorite and hit Earth. Because why the fuck not? Uh, are you the, I don't know if you're covering Halo or Doom. Like, that sounds like a lot, a lot like something that would happen in Doom Eternal. Dude, I swear to God, I, if you ask me to make a fucking Halo TV show, that's the Halo TV show. You show this one dude, fucking erect cock, smokes cigars, all right? <laughs> Through the whole, Dude, I, are we talking about if, if I If I was, if I was Master fuck? fucking Chief, and you told me to get on a high charity and fight the fucking Covenant, I'm going to do... Two lines. I'm going to do a 12 gauge of cocaine, get the fucking dual SMGs, and in my head, all I'm thinking as I'm fucking laying waste and seeing Covenant blood is da 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 da. What I'm not doing, I'm not I'm not showing my ass and sympathizing with the Covenant. A Covenant chick comes up to me, she gets beheaded with an energy sword, and I parade <laughs> that fucking head all around high charity. I go, UNSC, bitches, Earth, let's fucking go. And this, I'd stick a fucking plasma grenade, throw it at the prophets. I'm like, this is fucking reach, you pussies. Prophets. All right? <laughs> Bam! Remember right. reach, motherfucker. Yeah, you exactly. <laughs> And then, and then I'm getting court-martialed in the UNSC after the war, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck about no war crimes. You can't war crime a fucking grunt or a fucking jackal, all right? But no, now we got to have this stupid show with fucking stupid plot lines that don't fucking matter. I don't care about rebellions, okay? This is what I don't understand about the fucking show. Bro, aliens attacked you. I don't care if the UNSC was a fascist government. Bro, I'm a fucking suck UNSC Hitler's dick. If it means my ass is saved, okay? No one was bitching about the fucking Spartans when the fucking elites dropped, okay? They were like, oh shit, super soldiers? I don't know, I don't feel so good about that. Bro, the biggest fucking liberal in the UNSC space was sucking UNSC cock the moment they saw elites jumping on the fucking harvest <laughs> reach and going crazy. They're like, no, we get it, we get it. Let's get the let's get the crazy. Shit, maybe seven maybe foot, I want to survive. <laughs> yeah, let's get the seven foot tall human fucking like e experimental projects. I don't care if they were children that you kidnapped and turned into big fuck. They're gonna save my fucking ass. All right, shit. That's the that's the kind of Halo story. Halo is great. Right, when it's just literally non-stop fuck you that's all master chief is i know that there's like a fucking character to him whatever i, I get it he's a fucking killing machine okay like you, imagine you're the you, you know the unsc board probably is wondering it's like you want a kill count you want a fucking absolute bloodbath <laughs> send in this fucking nut job we call the master chief and go wild yeah you what see like, okay, Master Chief in the video games, he's a psychotic motherfucker, okay? <laughs> you gotta imagine, this dude doesn't think twice about getting into it. He, dude, he makes one-liners when he's slaughtering entire Covenant. You, only a fucking nut, John Wick doesn't even do one-liners. Fucking oh Master God. Chief is like, what? how do I mask my PTSD? Fuck that. He's like you, Arnold. Mas Dude, Master Chief doesn't even get PTSD. When's the only time in the Halo games you've ever seen him going, oh, fuck. Oh no, this is ruining me. I can't believe never in the fucking video game has he done that. <laughs> Motherfucker always loads the assault rifle. Always locked in. <laughs> always <laughs> locked in. <laughs> like it, like in Halo 5, they tried to do this stupid thing where like he's like blue team is back. And so like they're like, hey Chief, are you okay? He's like, uh oh, pfft. What are you fucking stupid? We're about to kill some bitches. Of course I'm good, motherfucker. Like, that's the kind of character we like. Not this fucking weird... I get for a TV show, they probably try to humanize characters, but it's like, dude, you're making a Halo television show. The fact that they had a human covenant fucking woman... Oh, yeah. That, like, that's... bro, what are you right? The Covenant religion literally thinks human beings are scum, and now you're <laughs> glazing one up? What the fuck? <laughs> like, even in the video games, because here's the funniest thing, too. It's like, even in the video games, so, like, the elites are like this, I, I guess they're more akin to, like, Japanese, like, fucking high honor society dudes. 
And even in the games, even in Halo 3, when the elites are against the Covenant and they're alongside the, like, the, you have an ally to the UNSC, even then they're like, whatever, demon, I kind of respect you, but, you know, you guys are still disgusting. No, but even in, like, a gameplay sense, what I love about Halo is they kind of really showcase. Um, like, it, it, back in Halo uh, 3, the, you, you basically had kind of co-op, like, Arbiter would hang out with you. But sometimes they would actually add two extra elites as part of the four-player experience. And if you ever gave a human gun to an elite, they would actually respond in disgust because they're like, eh. Like, very honor society. Like, they don't like anything that is... Yeah, and not even use their weapons. Anything. Yeah. And, and they've got, like, a caste system too, right? Like, you've got fucking the prophets at the top, the elites right under them, the brutes kind of adjacent, and they have the whole civil war... And then you've got, like, the grunts and the jackals who are like, fucking get out of here, you piece of shit trash. Like, literally, it's, like, actual hierarchy and whatnot. None of that, I think, ever really gets reflected properly. And even if, like, maybe... I, I haven't watched the new season. I, I couldn't be fucked I don't think you're going <laughs> to... No, I'm not. I, I can't. It, it's just... It's a show that I feel is written by people that just don't care about even reading the fucking books or anything, right? Or, like, mm. any of the source material. Like That's the worst fucking you, thing. What's the point? Yeah. Like, why would you, like, why, didn't you just call it something else, right? Like, you know what would be better if they made, like, a Mass Effect television show? That might be more interesting. That would be but interesting, fuck, though. They might, you but know. do you want to see, uh, like, a fucking Salarian just be redesigned to look like a human? <laughs> because I feel like that's what no. they're going to do. Do you think we're going to get CGI no, for, for, Yeah, for a show okay. like that, you'd have to do CGI. Those character designs yeah. are way too different. The, I think the only one you could do with, like, okay, prosthetic you... and, like, makeup would be uh, Asarians. Yeah. They they're basically just females. Could you, could you guys imagine though a Mass Effect even if it was not a TV show, a Mass Effect movie mm. per se that had the same kind of budget put towards it as like an avatar. If it looks like just like that, in the games, then yeah. It, could, I mean that's just it though. The Avatar movies for all the shit I give them they're, they're oh, yeah, I mean, they Mass, great. Effect, Mass Effect they're could have beautiful. a great TV show that just literally covers first contact. Yeah, that, like, the, the first Durian know, human yeah. war, that would be awesome to see. I mean, that 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 whole, so that's the best part about the Mass Effect stuff. So, like, first contact, a huge deal for human beings. Like, even in the game's lore, the Turians are just, like, the incident at a Relay 343. Like, it doesn't even yeah. matter at all. It's like, really we, came like... Across, <laughs> we came across fucking space monkeys and, like, they fucking started <laughs> yeah. shooting at we us. We found these <laughs> things. <Fuck. laughs> yeah. And they, they, don't they have, like, the most advanced fleet in the entire galaxy? Like, they, they don't that, even give dude, a that, fuck. And that's, that's what I like about Mass Effect, too, because it's, like, as a human in the universe, it's, like... The act like space United States is the Turian race, right? Like they're the yeah, fucking yeah. toughest the of the army everything. out there, yeah. And they're like the biggest space force imaginable. So it's like they've got this aura of bravado. Like it's like fuck you, get out of here, humans. Like we're the fucking like chief dogs here. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff that I wish. Like if they made a TV show about that whole incident, it would be fucking amazing. That'd be cool. Well, yeah, we could be explain so much stuff, and then we're gonna get like new characters and everything. Expand the universe. You don't need Master Chief. Master Chief. You don't need uh, Shepard all the time. You don't need the, the characters that we know. You can create new characters and new stories. Because if you do that thing when you just stick with the same cast all the time, you're going to end up like Star Wars. When you're just going to make several shows yeah. about the same characters. That it just becomes yeah. a series of, oh man, I can't wait to see what character cameos in here. Even like, even like Mass Effect games, like I always remember like, why the fuck would you make Andromeda? Because... I get you're trying to make like a new trilogy, but it'd be more interesting if they made like a side game that was about mm -hmm. that whole incident or something, right? Or like, yeah. I don't know, anything else really, right? Like, um, it, it's such a weird, like, I don't know, going back to like the whole Halo TV shows, like mm -hmm. these TV shows that are centered around like video games where like the actual showrunners don't give a fuck about any of the actual like source material. Again, it just boils down to, like, why even bother making a television show? It's like, exactly. at that point, just, like, we know you're literally trying to bank off of the IP, like, mm -hmm. the, the and that's it. But at that without, point, it's just, like, the biggest insulting thing to be doing. Exactly. Without even taking that into account, uh, just the universe, the little intricacies, the nuances that the choices have, like, they, they don't even, if you don't even, like, know what happens in the story you only know what the fuck is going on in a surface level then you're not gonna get a good job done you're, you're yeah. not gonna translate that universe well 
Yeah, and then they'll say, oh, see, nobody cares about video games. Exactly. Games. But, but then you don't try to make them good, right? Like, what the <laughs> exactly. fuck? Exactly. You're not giving a shit about making it good. That's, yeah. That, that's the thing, is that it's like, and I think, obviously, there, this isn't, this probably ain't a great example, but I recently watched the uh, live-action Sonic mm -hmm. movie. And frankly, that shit's delightful. Yeah. I, I'm shocked at how, honestly, good, of a of a video game movie mm -hmm. that is. All right. And, I I gen I, it shocks me that the that producers and directors can't look at these good examples of video game movies. And be like, okay, that's how we have to do it. We have to be faithful to the. To what has mm -hmm. come before it, while at the same time there there is some uh, Hollywood that yeah, has to happen. There. It's so simple as to just have someone who knows what the games are about exactly. Because I don't is. know if you've seen Sonic Two. Sonic Two, I think it's one of the greatest video game movies ever because you have everything. You have the characters from the game. You have the universe. You have the the Lord. You have the emeralds. You have everything. You even have the fucking uh, dead egg robot. Like that shit. Everything. That shit was hype. I remember being in the theater watching that movie and people were screaming right next to me. <laughs> like everything, every little detail from the games that adds because it's made with people that know. You know that uh, I may not be a fan. I'm, I don't like One Piece. I'm not a fan of One Piece. But yeah, no. the live action was made by someone who is like a, a, a One Piece connoisseur. And every little detail, every little like stuff about the design, it was perfectly done went through that guy and the show it's great apparently people say it's great hell i might even check it out even though yeah. i don't really like one piece so but the exact that's... opposite of fucking cowboy people exactly oh my god don't uh, they, well that yeah. that's exactly that's like two two examples like one from each extreme mm. like absolutely terrible yeah but yeah but can we give credit to what the greatest video game adaptation is what Arguably, it's Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. I liked it. I, I thought it was fun. My favorite character was my pet. Yeah, it's a fun movie. It was the best part of the movie. Wow, dude. Bro, I honestly think Five Nights uh, at Freddy's you... is dog shit in every <laughs> It's wow. like the fucking wow. the worst media franchise I've ever seen. It's literally wow. cancer. Okay, here's the thing. I don't like. I don't like the games. The movie was the movie good. Was fine. Well, dude, I enjoyed the movie. It was a I fine swear, movie. It, I think YouTube ruined Five Nights at Freddy's because I swear to God, every fucking soy face pussy that I saw make a fucking <laughs> FNAF video made me want to like claw my fucking eyes out at the time, dude. Okay, I'm not a yeah, I'm not like, a fan like the, of the of the games as well. I I played them when they released, and I was like, okay, it's fine. I I knew about the lore as well, and I was like, okay, that that thing is cool. Those mini games for the second game were cool. Yeah. The uh, only the, good thing, yeah, the only good thing FNAF did tomorrow was like the fucking custom night shit that I showed you. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> fucking part. This nah, show, like, I, for someone who doesn't no. know anything about FNAF, would have shown me that what is it like fifty twenty mode or something custom? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, I, yeah. I I I think I I thought I was watching a YouTube poop. Like straight up, I don't know why, but that's trying, shit. I could not understand shit what was understand going on. Trying to understand what happens in fifty twenty mode. Dude, like, I could just imagine like giving absurdity. a child a tablet with that mode, and like they're just like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, like Tony Stark just going to <laughs> shit like that. No, like I, I like that. Like I listen. I, I don't really care about the YouTubers that are like playing FNAF and like faking like the whole like. Oh, I'm so, I'm so scared. She could about to like come to the room. I like the YouTubers that are like fucking. Like fucking just like <laughs> looking in like all the nuclear like launch codes Locked that they're in. trying to fucking <laughs> like and, and like for anybody that doesn't know fifteen twenty mode basically and five uh, there's a custom night game that FNAF released where you can make your own night and uh, ultimate custom whatever. night I think it was yeah. called yeah like you can add whatever uh, animatronics you want so fifty twenty mode is literally activating every single animatronic. At their highest difficulty. In their most cancerous yeah. form. Highest difficulty, every single animatronic. From every game. The night. <laughs> yep. So it starts from 12 to 6. 
And if you don't know what you're doing, you die before the fucking first second. Yeah, yeah. So this is a mode that requires you to be like laser fucking focused. Like you got to make sure you understand everything. You, you, it's like, I feel like the only people that can win it are the ones whose brains can see between the, the <laughs> space and time, you know? <laughs> like your fucking mouse is moving. Oh, like, yeah. like there's like fucking. Homie lives yeah, in the Yeah, for real. It's like you're able you hear to sounds. see between the frames. There's jingles playing. You see sounds. You see that picture. You see like I that window like, sound. Like, like, no, like like John Wick is able to do 50-20 mode. <laughs> Maybe, I, I don't know. I feel like John Wick. Because no, like think about it. Like John Wick's able to get like a headshot from every distance. Like he must be able to like see between the fucking frames and shit, you know? Exactly. Like, <laughs> that dude can do 50-20 mode. Fucking... Riddick could do 50-20 mode. Everybody, dude, tons of dudes could do 50 <laughs> I feel like if you do 50-20 mode, your brain operates at a level that is not comprehensible by it's human beyond, Yeah, lives. dude. That, 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 you're, you have, like, insight from Bloodborne if you'd be able to do that shit, man. Like, you're you're in a plane beyond. <laughs> like, there needs to be, like, a siege operator no. of, like, Megamind <laughs> fucking, like... Megamind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. The most insane shit. You know, you know who you want to know what Loki the best thing to ever come from Five Nights at Freddy's is. The porn. <laughs> the porn. It's the porn, porn, isn't it? No. Porn, right? It no, dude. It's the fucking GTA videos we watch. Oh God. I thought you were gonna say the theory videos you made on your channel. <laughs> oh yeah, the theory videos are channel. Nah, dude. Yeah, man, you're trying, trying to be not pass the punch, huh? We have the Dropbox links. They, you might have the Dropbox, but they don't exist. Mm, I don't know. Muda yeah, has you know, some it's so funny. There. I remember the night when Kyle was trying to get the fucking Matt Pat thing out. I was like, "Oh, Matt Pat doesn't know this, this fucking so theory. Funny. I'm gonna make this theory video." And I'm just like sitting there. I'm yes. like, bro, it's FNAF. <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's yeah, but it was control. FNAF when it's like high, dude. Yeah. He we wanted to beat the punch. Yeah, <laughs> I did. But th but even that's the thing about like Five Nights at Freddy's. Is, like I always like was enamored by like the story of it, and I'm like, man, there must be like, how is it people are like crafting these theories out of like almost nowhere. Yeah, because he said, I feel like right. when those he theories were too hot, it was like between FNAF 1, 2, and 3, when it was just three games, which yeah. for, even for me, it was like, okay, that's cool. It's three, it's a killer who killed kids, and the, the ghosts possess the, the suits, and that's it. It's like, okay, then yep. the, you're going to see the lines in between, who this guy is, who the killer is, what happened. But then with like, I, I think after FNAF 4, it kind of began to like go a little too overboard. Like you got to read the novels. You have to read like three novels that I probably also like yeah. tear more between the, the like actual like sci-fi with like robots and stuff. And then you have the rest now, which I don't know, some the, the purple guy just coming back and this whole freddy world in the new game i don't know it just became way too insane you, you know you already know more than I, I i put a lot of long videos in the background and one of those happened to be like the story of fnaf or something and i just remember that shit. i had a so, choice between watching that the... or six hours of dagger fall analysis i'll let you decide which one i ended up well, both are good options really. <laughs> i watched a three and a half hour earthbound iceberg like two days ago <laughs> it was a great video like you, you need to i work with long videos in the background while i draw i see i get a lot of work done when i just sit and put long videos in the background you know that's that's the thing about fnaf especially about the theory community is it seemed like they were coming up with something mm -hmm. out of nothing when the reality is scott cawthon didn't even know what the fuck he was thinking uh, coming into, I think it was three or maybe it mm. was after three. Literally, they're, they're, for the longest time, they focused over. I don't remember which one it was then. It was the whatever was inside this lock. Oh yeah, that shit was dropped. <laughs> and they they focused on it so much. Scott Cawthon didn't even know. Yeah, the fuck and, he was and he was dropped. It. He was he was just like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like what something. happened with the whole thing is like, Scott's just kind of sitting there with like his crack pipe in his hand, you know, like writing a fucking <laughs> first few And then like Matt Pat's over here, like fucking writing a story. So he's like. And he's like, oh, that, that sounds like you know a what? great idea. For me, the whole FNAF story <laughs> ends in, the, in FNAF 3 when you have that uh, happiest day minigame. 
which you play as a ghost and you go and give cake to the kids and then all just ascend to heaven. That's that's the end for me. That's how it ends. I don't give a shit. That's the that's a cute ending. Honestly, I like that. If I'm being honest, though, my favorite thing to ever come from FNAF is the uh, bite of '87 <laughs> meme. Dude, the twerk of '87. The bro. twerk of '87. <laughs> twerk of '87. That shit was funny as fuck, dude. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Anytime I get hit with an unexpected bite of 87 meme, I'm just like, yeah, that's funny as shit. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Boy, I, I love how we started this uh, episode on favorite uh, movies and definitely did not talk oh, we about We just talk about the FNAF movie. That, that was <laughs> video game movies, I guess. Or shows. Yeah, best video... Best movie ever. Best, best movie, best video game movie probably is Alone in the Dark. Uh, best one probably is the Mario movie. From 93. Shut the fuck off. Bro, that's a good fucking oh. movie, though. Yeah. I I thought you were about to say the new one, and I was about to... I, I'm not going to lie. Wait, I was have, about you to ever, have you ever watched Alone Argentina. in the Dark with Christian Slater in a cup? You haven't watched it, Muda. You just watched the Linkara video. I watched the Alone in the Dark movie. You... Fucking asshole. I don't know, man. I'm dude, you know, watching a lot of uh, a top of the world, man. I'm going to tell you right now. I watched the Alone in the Dark movie when I was a kid. Oh, boy. What are you, from fucking Mars? Why? <laughs> Why would you... Okay. Uh, because. Because as a kid, I was, I was big into horror movies. And I watched a lot of them. And I went to the video game rental store. Or the video rental store. Saw it on the shelf and I was like, yeah, that was the other option. Do you remember at the time? I didn't fuck, dude. I, at that time, dude, this was before this was before I could comprehend a thought. This was this was before my third I'm eye. I'm sure was you have better it. options, man. Yeah, no, because it's like if you got fucking Blade. It's 2005. Oh, man. What can I what can I rent? Oh, Spider Man 2. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah. I already saw <laughs> it. Alone in the Dark, I guess. Let's just go with that. The Saw movies or something. Saw movie, yeah. yeah. A History of Violence. No, they no no. My my parents did not. Allow but they allow you to watch that. Alone in the Fucking Dark. Ah, uh, they didn't know. They didn't know. They saw Saw and they were like, oh no. Then they saw Alone in the Dark's cover and they were like, eh, he could do worse. It's called Alone in the Dark. What do you think it's about? Did you not like you know? Dude, they were they have... probably they probably thought it was like fucking did... Freddy. They thought it was oh Nightmare yeah, the on fucking Street, dream probably. decapitator. That's better. Yeah, than dream decapitator. Yeah. yeah, true. Of course. Wait, yeah. but like, why not? Why not? You know, pick up. I don't know. Fucking. Why not just like I don't know. Pick up a copy of. Uh, Max Payne movie. That's a good movie. <laughs> That's a very good movie. It's I fucking not, not, but sure. Ever. Go off. Bro, okay, how the fuck is it not a good movie? What I don't you really want fucking, fucking Max remember movie? shit about the Max, Max Payne movie. Mark I just remember Wahlberg it being crap. It. Mark Wahlberg yeah, a that's the only actor. thing. I would It would have been so much better if it was actually Sam Lake playing Max Payne. Okay, fine. Why don't you get, why don't you get Planet <laughs> of the Apes instead of fucking, you know. I've never watched a Planet really? of the Apes. Uh, actually, no. I've watched one, and you I watched did not the like Tim Burton the one. one. I don't think I watched the Tim Burton one. You didn't watch the very original one, or did you watch the remake? The, the original one is great. I the watched. remake is from Tim Burton. It's pretty I... crappy. You got a bunch from the sixties. You got Beneath, which sucks. Uh, you got a bunch of them. So many of them. I don't know. I feel like I watched. I feel like I watched Return of the Return. Planet. Okay Bro, one. any any movie would be better than Alone in the Dark. Okay, like <laughs> yeah. Any fucking going back movie. to well, yeah, Alone dude. in the Dark. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I I know I know that is now. This is like going to the video game rental store. This movie is fucking lame. This like going to the video game rental store and you see like Need for Speed Underground Two, but your ass decides to get Juice Two Hot Important Nights. For oh some fucking no! <laughs> like like this is this is like seeing fucking Call of Duty. All right, like, oh, shit, maybe I'll take that home and enjoy, like, a fun fucking, you know, little seven-hour campaign. And then, and then picking up, like, Darkest of Days, where you're playing as fucking George, or, like, the Custer, <laughs> like, the Last Stand and Aliens. Fucking so, oh, fuck, I'm gonna play Persona all, all 5? Gonna oh, say, no, I'm gonna, gonna play Dedicate, too. Fuck it. Bro, imagine renting Persona 5 <laughs> from the fucking video game rental store. 
Like, you don't even get past the fucking Kamashita Palace, and you got to return the bitch. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's like, why rental, rental just wouldn't work right now, man. That no, like, that ima- imagine, like, imagine, like, this is what I hated, like, at the video game rental store. I'm like, bitch, who's fucking renting the RPG for the weekend? Like, <laughs> I got shit to fucking, I got, I got a fucking spelling to test do. to prep for, dude. Like, fuck that shit. Well, imagine back then. Imagine it's not like it's like ninety five. Like, oh man, I'm going to like Blockbuster. I'm gonna rent Chrono Trigger. Like, what the fuck? You cannot beat that shit on a weekend. I mean, unless you're a fucking speedrunner or something, and you're like turbo. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it's ninety five. You need to do homework back. and shit. You need to like rent it and just play for three days straight and beat the game. Back then, I think I did rent Final Fantasy X. Yeah, but that and was different because you could save the game on your memory card, not in the card. Right, yeah. And then when I went to go bring it back, I was like, hey, can I just rent this for another <laughs> three days? And they're like, yeah, give me five bucks. Gave him five bucks, took it back home, fucking beat it, brought it back, and I was like, fantastic, you Easy. thank you. <laughs> I, I spent ten bucks instead of six. Makes years. sense. <laughs> That game was worth sixty, though you fucking monster. I really should have. I should have bought it. I should have. Dude, my parents were fucking shit with video games. If they could have bought me Herb Sims in the cities, bro, let's get Herbs from GBA. That's a one. That's a good one. So why why didn't you rent well, San Andreas are... from the video store? Here we go again. Dude, I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to own those games. I wasn't even allowed to look at them. Even if I went to a friend's house, they were like, "Don't play that Fuck. shit." Bro, it's not like it was porn. My parents. My parents. Dude, Treated like it was. My parents. Dude, that's just it though. They saw the fucking. They saw the headlines on the news. Oh, GTA is involved in a sex scandal. And it's just like, oh, yep, there goes Kyle's chance of ever playing those games as a kid. Where he could have probably built a lasting bond with it, and then liked them, and then actually played the fucking campaigns of. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, nothing's stopping you now, Chief. You're old enough to fucking play these games. Yeah, dude. Dude, I'm too old. You're not. You're, Come on. You're too old to play Grand Theft Auto. Man, that is the most retarded shit I've heard in a long time. Usually, <laughs> motherfuckers are too young to play Grand Theft Auto. You're Yet, I was too young. You yeah, willingly now, play now Pokemon games, but not GTA. Yeah, bro, that doesn't make any sense. You dude, play I don't, games about fucking dude, throwing I don't balls even play... at Pikachu, but you, you can't play... You're shooting gats of game makers? I don't even play Pokemon don't games you blame anymore Black? because they are so fucking bad. You're playing the old ones. What? We're asking you to play an old GTA game too. I haven't. I haven't touched it in like fucking two weeks. Like that's the thing, dude. Is that Pokemon games after Platinum kind of just yeah, fucking GTA fell off? Yeah, GTA games after one only went fucking to the moon, bro. Yeah. Which one better than the next one? I mean, like just just think about it. Duality in franchises, Pokemon fans, they get the same <laughs> slop. GTA fans who went from fucking top down graphics to like fucking Miami rep represented yeah. in glorious 4K. Granted, we had to wait fucking ten years for it, but yeah. we get it. <laughs> Here's the thing. I have always maintained that I am not I I don't enjoy GTA games. I play them because you guys that being thing. said, I will I will always give GTA credit where credit is due, in that in terms of open world gameplay, in terms of storytelling, it is the golden standard. It is the golden standard that all games should try to. That to the Last of Us fans, yeah. those guys oh boy, yeah, no. <laughs> Hold on. That 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 game, it always every time that it releases a game. It ups the ante. It ups the bar, and it uh, it it literally GTA Five Gold Standard right here. Fucking RDR Two comes up right up, just barely above it. Guess what? GTA Six, it's gonna fucking leapfrog and go up another yeah, fucking. Yeah, GTA Six already looks like because that just that's just that's just what that's two. just what Rockstar Actually, yeah. does. Looks insane. I give I have to. Here's the thing. It's not for me, but I have to give it the credit it deserves. It is the gold standard for open world uh, art. 
I'll even call it an RPG. It's the standard for an open world RPG style game. It's a great R game. RPG. <laughs> That's fine. Dude, tell me I'm wrong. You're playing a role. In online, maybe. Oh, you man, are role playing. Bro. You're you so are role playing. playing. I guess Call of Duty must be a fucking RPG too. Then I'm playing the role of a fucking war. Well, you play a role in any game. Oh, bro. No, no, that's that's an action adventure. GTA is fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> um, fucking, fucking lose my testicle. Let's end it here before we fucking go insane. <laughs> what the fuck? No, 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 no! Don't end it. How's it fucking RPG? Wait. Hold oh on shit. Okay. No, All right. No, hold on. How fuck's that an RPG? How's it an, how's it an RPG? How is World of Warcraft an RPG? An open world RPG? How is Terra Online? Yeah, yeah, just world let, RPG? let's end it right here. This is just <laughs> 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 We're not getting any 